Hey there guys and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be in Cinema 4D today and this is going to be how to create an easy text. So obviously you want to go on Open Cinema 4D up. Once you've opened Cinema 4D, go to More Graphs, More Text and position your text to where you want it. Just align it to the middle. Uh, create the depth to about 40. And then when you're at 40, you want to change your font. I'm going to do Agency FB. Because that's what I said. Because that's a nice font. So I'm just going to create it like Sue Scott. Uh, and once it's at 40 depth, just create a new one by pressing Command C, Command V, or CLT, CTRL. V, C, or and V, and then uh, on this one, do you want to go to this camera and go up here and press it again? And there's two, and the second one you want to highlight over and pull it back, and I'll bring it back a little bit. Uh, and then from there, you want to command C, command V. Which will duplicate that again and then make that there like that and then bring yourself, press this camera button here and you should see it's just like this. But that isn't really much, so the first one we want to make go to caps, start cap, fill a cap, end cap, fill a cap, and make the radius to about two centimeters in each one. On this motex point one. Go to the fill the cap again on both of them and make this about around about three. And then on the last one you want to make fill the cap, fill the cap, and then four on the top one and two on the bottom one. And once that's done it should look like that, which is a very cool looking. So at this point we probably want to start adding Color, so double click here and go to color, texture, uh, gradient, and click this here. Go to type uh, and 2D circular up here, change color to 100, 100, 2 by 5, 1, 4, 4, and leave that 0. I should give that an orange look like that. And the next one you want to go to 100 at the top. Oops, wrong one then. 100 at the top, 100, 2 by 5, and here, 161. And that should give it a nice orange. And from here, you want to go to color again and go to texture, curve channel, luminance, texture, paste channel. We'll give it like a glow effect and then go to reflection. Take that, um, texture for now, bring this down to about 6 and this to about 29 and drag this onto your middle text. And it doesn't look that good right so we need to add another one for the two other texts. So, color, so I want to go gradient again, we still the same thing but there are different text and Got a lighter one this time, so and here a darker one. And make sure there's a two D two D circular, and then go to or right, click color texture, copy channel, luminance, texture, paste channel, reflection, texture, nail, six brightness and twenty nine for the mix strength. Now just bring this onto the other two texts, like that, preview this, it doesn't look that good so go to your render settings, general output, make that 12 by 720 and leave everything the way it is, go to save and save it to your desktop, like that, and Make your um, 
Alpha channel and for the format you want to go to QuickTime Portable Network Graphics, that stands for PNG, PNG image and once that's done you go to um, Anti-Analyzing and go to uh, Pest now from here go to Effect Ambient Occlusion Global Illumination and then on Ambient Occlusion uh, the max maximum ray length about 150 would work good. So. And then the contrast to about 10. And that's that done for that. Global illumination, got like the radiance cache. And this top one, low. The second top one, low. And that should be it. Preview this. So as you can see, it's created a nice text effect, and the, the global illumination ambient occlusion is giving it a really nice glow.